I decided to open my restaurant because uh, I had a catering business that was very successful. My background uh, is very unusual. I was a highlight player and my mother uh, forced me to study to be, become a machinist, so I had a trade school. Well, I grew up in the Basque country of Spain. I was born in a farm, but then I went to a town where there was uh, a manufacturing industry and there, there was a school where I learned the trade to become a machinist and at the same time they had a highlight fronton. That highlight fronton was well known for exporting a lot of highlight players. And I took up that sport thinking that I would land in Havana. But then Fidel Castro came around. I played for about 23 years as a professional over here in, in the United States. Although I did travel to France, Venezuela, Mexico, Spain, of course. I continued playing high alike until I was 40 and I retired. And I was able to go to work at Brad Whitney, where with my knowledge and all that, I worked as a manufacturing engineer. But then I, I got laid off over there. And the thing what happened is that made me have to reinvent myself. I started to make a living so that I could provide for my family. And then it kept on growing and growing. And today, today, when I saw my chefs in the kitchen cooking themselves instead of me, like I have done, and looking at their work, they are so good. That has really made me feel fantastic inside. Eating is such a, a, an important thing for us Spaniards. Cooking in Spain is, is something that everybody does and, and paella is one of the most classical. We all know how to do it. In, in Spain you've got, uh, there is 40 million people and they have 40 million recipes and they are all the best. <laughs> I put a lot of emphasis in making a really, really good broth and I think that that's the success. We have to be very, very careful with thinking long term, especially at my age, I, I just turned 70. Most people tell me I'm crazy to open a, to open a restaurant at, at, at my age. I'm going to concentrate in having this place do very, very well. And if that, if that happens, things will come. The score is one of the greatest things that, uh, that I have seen in the United States. And this is about people giving back. And that is so fantastic and, and so inspiring as well. To me, success would be to have satisfactory salaries to my employees and some return for me. Money is not the whole thing. I just want for my customers to be happy, to really enjoy my food, and for my, my employees to be satisfied with their work, and that would be success. That, that would be the trophy, to have this, this restaurant and catering business running profitably and, and doing well, and, and uh, definitely that would be a batch of honor. Uh, it would be like my last hurrah. <laughs> I'm very, very grateful, and only the recognition from a score to be one of the three finalists, that, that, has, that has made my life, not my day, my life. I mean, that's because being recognized by professionals, that is the, the ultimate, the ultimate.